Hey, what is going on the YouTube? This is The Gaming Guy. In today's video, I'm going to be going over my sort of view on the top 10 items that I feel personally have come out of this lookbook. Now, I will talk about a couple that other people also have put into their sort of top 10, top 5 sort of list. Uh, but in general, this one's just going to be covering my items that I personally think are my like sort of personal top 10 from this. Uh, some of them are obviously the sort of hyped items, but in general, they might not be as hyped, but I think a majority of them are gonna probably cover the sort of section where people are looking forward to them dropping. Anyway, let's get straight into this video. Comment down below your sort of top 10, maybe top five items, maybe your favorite item that came out of the lookbook. And yeah, let's get into this. Okay, so like I was saying, obviously we are going to be running through my sort of top 10 items or top 10 items that I think in my view are some of the best items that have come out of the lookbook and then we'll go over a couple that other people have also said that are pretty decent so obviously I have the uh, page open like this so that it's easier just to scroll through open that up and go through them so let's go through the first couple of items that cover the sort of hoodies uh, jackets tops sort of side okay so to start things off we're going to go through about four or five items that are just other people have put them in their sort of top 10 or they've put them in sort of the higher tier and I also agree but they're just not in my sort of personal top 10 list which isn't in any order but one of the items is definitely the champion uh, supreme hooded varsity obviously it's exclusively made for Supreme, which is great. And I just think the overall design is just very, it's very unique, obviously, because it's exclusively for Supreme. And I just think overall, it's a really great piece. I love how many champion logos there are. You've got like six uh, on either sleeve. You've got another one here. You've got like eight in general on the front. And on the back, you've got an additional uh, seven as well. So you've got a lot of them. You've got a lot of champion branding. And I just think it's cool. They've got a load of different colorways. And yeah, I just think it's just a great piece, this varsity jacket. And it's a really nice piece that they're releasing as a collab sort of together, obviously. Okay, next up, we have the newspaper uh, print uh, design now obviously there is the uh, or there are the bottoms to match or the pants to match however I'm just going to put the uh, sweater in you could also put the like pants in to match obviously uh, but I think they're on the same sort of level I know a lot of people have been waiting for something that has a sort of newspaper look or print to it and this just obviously ticks that box a thousand times over, you know, and I do think it's a nice piece. However, for me personally, I probably won't be copying it, but I do appreciate the piece and it is nice. With this piece, I was sort of on edge as to whether I was going to put it in my personal list or whether it was going to go on outside of it. However, I decided just to put it outside of my personal top 10 list uh, because there are other items that I appreciate a bit more than this piece. However, this is a great denim jacket. I said at the start well, in my video yesterday that I this colorway is a lot better than the other colorway as you can see this compared to this colorway I prefer the this one just a thousand times over again. I really do prefer it. It's a corduroy cotton denim jacket like there's not much else you can ask. You've got the corduroy pieces, you've got the patchwork pieces all over, you've got the denim in between. I just think in general it is just a really great piece. And it definitely deserves to be on most people's, like, at least top 15 items that have come out of the lookbook for sure. Uh, it's just an extremely nice piece, genuinely. It's just a really nice piece. So that's why it's just outside my list. For the last item that I'm going to include that's sort of outside of my list, I was going to include, like, the bike or, like, a couple of other pieces like that. But I didn't really think uh, too much of them, if I'm being honest. Um, because, obviously, their price will probably be quite high. They are really nice pieces that are coming out, obviously. But I just wanted to put these in. The inflatable PVC chairs. Normally, inflatable chairs are probably between £15 and £45. So, you could hopefully see these being at that price or maybe a bit more. I just think for something like this to come out, it's pretty cool. You know, people probably get it for, like, their uni dorms or different things like that. Uh, maybe to use in, like, a pool or something. I don't know, but... I just think it's a really cool piece that they're bringing out and yeah, I'm looking forward to hopefully being able to cop it. Right, so now we're going to move on to my top 10 list and this isn't in no order whatsoever, but these are just the top 10 items that in my view are just great that they're releasing. So for the first item, we've got the leather anorak in this cow camo or camo looking colorway, maybe like field sort of camo colorway. It's a great piece, like honestly, there's a T or top they're releasing as well and there are a couple of other pieces that are also in this camo color. But I just think this is a great piece that is coming out and it definitely deserves a spot because it's it's literally just perfect. It's like everything is just identical to the hoodie except for the part that it's an anorak obviously. And I just really do like this piece. It'll probably have quite a high retail value. However, if it doesn't, it 
it's probably a really good piece to pick up because camo sort of items or camo related items usually sell out quite quickly and I just think this is a great piece. Compared to the other colorways, I just think this stands head above shoulders just ahead of them, just massively ahead of them. Okay, next up we have the Patchwork Peak T. This is a great, great, great piece. As soon as there was the sort of leak of this uh, piece, I instantly liked it or I was just instantly wanting to try and cop it uh, because of the fact that patchwork pieces are really nice. I just There's just no other way to put it. They're just really nice pieces that Supreme come out with and I just think this one is definitely up there. It's got the classic logo as you can see just there, their classic Supreme logo and I just think it's a great piece. It's definitely one that you should probably attempt to pick up if you do like it or attempt to cop it if you do sort of like it. Uh, because I can see in the future it will probably have a decent resale value. However, I'd probably try and pick it up to either wear or if it goes up in value, I'll just stock it until it comes to that point where I try and sell it. Also, while I'm just talking about the patchwork tee, uh, out of the two colorways, I prefer the front like running colorway compared to the second one. I just don't know. I think because it's sort of more of a lighter, brighter sort of colors, I, I really like it a lot more than the second one, but I, I appreciate both of them in the patchwork colours. They're just both great and the colourways on both of them is amazing, but if I had to pick, I would be picking the first one. Next on the list, we have this chain stitch hooded sweatshirt. It's an embroidered graphic. That's, that's literally all I need to say. A hoodie with an embroidered abstract graphic is absolutely amazing. The fact that they're doing that is just brilliant because I know a lot of pieces uh, like the Scarface hoodie, uh, even my hoodies that I've had, uh, the sumo hoodie that I've had, you know, they, their graphics fade when they are washed and they do have to be washed at points. Even just in general, normal hoodies fade. The graphics fade, you know, they start to crinkle and start to break apart. They just start to fall off after a certain amount of washes. So with this being a graphic that's embroidered, I just think it's a great piece. And it definitely deserves a spot on most people's lists. They're doing a load of different colorways, but I definitely think I'd like... I don't know, maybe the olive or burgundy or possibly this black colorway, but most of the colorways really do match because it's got a lot of the colors that they're releasing the colorways and the hoodies in on the actual graphics. So it will blend in with most of them or a majority of them. Okay, next on my list is the Madonna tea. I just think any tea that sort of has a signature or writing on it, I just think it's a really nice piece and I will definitely be trying to cop it. The only thing that I do not like about this is the color of uh, the the picture or the photo that they've got on there. Uh, the fact that it's white and red, I just think that's, that's you know, it's not, it's not brilliant overall, to be honest. It's not anything special. Um, I wish they'd maybe done like some more plain sort of colors or maybe just left it as the color of what the photo is itself. But I can understand if they wanted to possibly cut some colors out of it or do something special with it. But it's definitely a piece that I will try and pick up uh, because it's just a nice tea. Okay, next on my list is the Still Life tee. I'm putting this one on there because I really do like this piece. It just looks very, the graphic just looks nice and simplistic and with the text or the font, it just blends quite well together. I personally think it's just a really nice tee and in this terracotta colorway, it is really, really nice. Uh, that possibly the other colorways might work better with it. Maybe if they put it on an olive tee, it might work better because of the darker shades that's included on this piece. However, we'll just have to wait and see how that turns out or how that looks. But for me, honestly, this piece just looks great and I really do like the graphic to it. It's just a great piece overall. So that's why it gets on this list. To be honest, it comes personally for me higher than the Madonna T because I just like the simplicity to it. Okay, next up is the obvious uh, Stife Supreme bear that they're releasing with its own box logo hoodie or hooded sweatshirt on it. Now this piece, the original or normal bear costs $89 at a retail value or its normal value. If you throw a box logo hoodie on that you could be adding 60 to 100 pounds so you'll probably see its value between about 140 to about 200 pounds. Hopefully in between that window, hopefully less but we'll have to wait and see on that. I just think it's a really cool piece because obviously the only other Supreme uh, bear or bear with a hoodie on it that is designed and authenticated by Supreme was the one for charity that was the Louis Vuitton piece which went for like 60, 70, 80 thousand somewhere around that sort of mark. Um, so comparing this to that you know it's an extremely big like step or gap between the two for sure uh, and I just think it's a great piece that they're releasing. The only other time that we've had something close to this is probably the Camacho or you could get the undercover uh, bear 
uh, like pillows or like yeah small hand pillow sort of thing so this is definitely head and above like just any other item that they could possibly release now next on my list was going to be this reflective camo jacket however I'm going to put this outside the list it's going back uh, because of the fact that there's another item that I feel which is an accessory which sort of comes a little bit higher than this piece however this is nevertheless an extremely extremely great and cool piece obviously it's reflective camo jacket there's not much else I can say about it the colors are great you know the reflective is really cool and they've done a great job with this piece 100% this orange colorway is definitely one of my favorites or this orangey brown sort of color is definitely my favorites when it's reflective and this color comes second for me personally and then obviously the green camo comes last but yeah that's just outside my list just like a, a little bit because there's an item that we're going to click onto now which comes ahead of it which is an RC car this is great like honestly this is just amazing this is such a cool concept and idea that they've released this the only uh, like little bit of annoying part is that the RC car by Tamiya or Tamiya however you want to say it or pronounce it uh, the Hornet RC car uh, retails at £90 so you could possibly see this one being at about £120 to £170 maybe more because Supreme sometimes put things higher uh, but I just think this is really like just dope idea in general to release an RC car it's just a cool idea I wish that it had a bit more branding but they have put it like a couple of times all over the place so I can understand not coating this in Supreme and I understand doing it sort of low-key making the box logo like blend in with the flames and then doing the black on white here or the white on black in this case here but yeah I just think this is a really cool piece and that's why it makes it into my top 10 list okay next up this is sort of a mix because I just like the graphic in general that is on this sort of hand animated uh, design which is the supreme Q piece in this sort of either the blue or the pink red like fuchsia color it is an amazing piece like for sure I just really appreciate the graphic and that's why these two are sort of on the same level whatever spot this isn't like a ranked order obviously but whatever spot they take it's just because purely because of the graphic it's just such a sick piece and depending on the price if it's like 50 pounds or so I might be looking to pick one up because I know Supreme have been slowly like bit by bit raising the price of their uh, skateboard decks over the last couple of seasons but yeah I just I just really like this piece definitely on the skateboard deck I don't know if I'd be wearing this out in public because I already have uh, the uh, love tea or cart tea um, but yeah I really appreciate this piece okay next up for me I just adore this piece the cat in the hat hoodie there is no way that you cannot be wanting to like cop this piece it is just absolutely amazing like honestly this is such a cool piece I'm just, as soon as I saw it like the little thumbnail picture uh, on the lookbook preview I was just like that's that's amazing like for me I just really want that I hope that they release it on uh, some tees and you know they wouldn't but if they released a cat in the hat hat that would just be amazing i know they're already doing the beanie and the jeans or like trousers sort of thing but if they release an actual hat with it on that would just be like uh, just unreal so but yeah i really like this piece either in the blue colorway or this gray colorway uh, i think those two are probably the best colorways for this piece and it's just great like either way it's just great it's just such a cool piece and it definitely if if there was a ranked order to this it would take one, like one of the top two spots for like just 100% because it's such a cool piece. The piece that would probably take the top spot though if we were going in a ranked order uh, it's definitely this for me. The Motion Logo Varsity. It's just I, I you saw my reaction yesterday. Okay we've got a Motion Logo Varsity jacket. Motion Logo. Oh like what more can I say pretty much it is just such a cool piece honestly I'm not too into the purple colorway however I can understand them releasing a purple colorway because they're releasing the purple bags this season so they're trying to get that sort of mix in it um, I think if you had a purple backpack with this that'd be pretty cool but just this black colorway with the red font that is just absolutely amazing if you're wondering the normal retail for a leather varsity or the last time they released one uh, that's sort of of this, of this caliber uh, was the Gons Varsity and that was $398 retail so about 348 to 378 or 368 uh, in pounds. I don't know what they'll retail it at this time because obviously it's not a collaboration it's their own thing so I would hope that they wouldn't skyrocket the price but people are estimating that the resale value on this could be like in the into like a thousand pounds which I don't know personally I just think for me I just want to pick it up and keep it and wear it because I've been after a Varsity for so long 
and this piece is just amazing for this to be coming out. I just think it'd be perfect. But let me know down below your thoughts on whether you think this would rock it up in price or what would happen with it. I know that a lot of the other uh, motion sort of items are worth a bit more or a fair bit more than their retail. Like as you can see, we just search up on StockX what they're going for currently and like T's lowest ask is 400, then you've got 200 here. But in like in general that is a massive amount compared to what their retail would be and if you're looking at other varsities when you go through other varsity jackets you have the ones that aren't leather that are just wool that aren't really a crazy crazy amount but then you go on to like the gons one which is starting to go like 50 60 dollars above its retail uh and other colorways like this black colorway is going about nearly $150 above its retail. You know, some of these really do skyrocket when you look at the Varsity jackets. And yeah, the only comparison we really have uh, with the Varsity jacket is the Gons one. Because that's pretty much the, it's the exact same as the Motion one. So 398 retail for last year. That should basically be the same price in my view. But we'll just have to wait and see on that. This is obviously another one that they've released. Um, which currently has quite a high ask value. And as you see, medium and large, 750 a 1000 You know, that's a lot for them. So we'll just have to wait and see on like what the pieces are worth. Or how much the piece is worth in general. But anyway, that's going to bring this video to an end. If you enjoyed, like, be much appreciated. Other than that, I should have a drop list video out tomorrow. Because there's only a partial drop list out at the moment. I was thinking about uploading, but I think... I'll save it for tomorrow instead. Also comment down below your sort of top 10 list, top 5 list, whatever you think and which items out of this you might take from that I didn't put in sort of my personal top 10 and switch around. Also there are obviously a couple of items that I really do like as well like the anatomy set, um, the Hanes pieces that they're bringing out and the sort of card holder here as well as this uh, for like soup sort of thing um, and the step ladder. I also like uh, quite a couple of the beanies but you know, I'm not going to do like a top 20 list or something, but those pieces are also really nice and I'll probably attempt to pick them up as well. Definitely the Haynes piece though, that's a definite to try and pick up. But yeah, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, like, much appreciated. Other than that, like and subscribe. I'll see you all next time. Peace.